I am Dr. Hari Ramacharya, Clinical Director, Senior Consultant Neurologist at Narana Health City, Department of Neuroscience, Bangalore. I am going to talk to you very briefly about dizziness and vertigo. Now, dizziness has many different forms. Not all dizziness is vertigo. Not all vertigo is, due to, is the dizziness. Now, vertigo is a type of dizziness, but not all dizziness is from vertigo. Now, the patients may have different descriptions for their dizziness. This is what actually we are trying to find out in a patient with the dizziness. You must be aware of this. First and foremost thing, one type of dizziness is where the patient is experiencing an abnormal sensation of movement. That is, when he is looking at the room, the whole room is spinning or when he is looking at the floor, the floor is spinning or sometimes he experiences his head is spinning from one side to the other side or rotating. Head is constantly rotating. Now, this is called vertigo. This type of dizziness is called vertigo. Now, second type of dizziness where the patient describes is, you know, when they suddenly stand up after lying down for a long time or sitting for a long time, when they suddenly stand up, they develop lightheadedness, they develop blurring of the vision, they develop weakness in their leg, they want to hold on to something to prevent them from falling. Now, this is also a type of dizziness. This is not vertigo. This is a type of dizziness. We call it presyncope or lightheadedness, which is due to the fall of the blood pressure most of the time with the reduction in the circulation to the brain. Now, the third type of dizziness where the patient describes it as dizziness is not actually vertigo or lightheadedness. The patients are describing imbalance while walking. Their balance is off. When they are walking, they are either swaying to one side or other side, or sometimes they feel falling forward, sometimes they fall falling backward. This may happen due to variety of reasons. This may be due to stroke, this may be due to Parkinson's disease, this may be due to the drugs they are taking which are suppressing certain areas of the brain, controlling your balance. For example, if you drink alcohol, you know, you may feel a little, you know, imbalance and all that is a very common problem. And most of us have experienced it this at some time or the other in our life. Now, fourth type of dizziness is where the patient is not able to describe what exactly he has. They describe very strange sensation in their head. They describe some paresthesia, tingling, numbness, vibration sensation in their head or heaviness in their head. They sometimes have difficulty in concentrating on things, focusing on things. They can't think straight. This manifestation, very various non-specific manifestations also patients describe as dizziness. This is the fourth type of dizziness. So, lightheadedness, which is called presyncope, vertigo, which is real spinning sensation, and number three, imbalance while walking. Fourth type is the non-specific multiple symptoms the patient is complaining. So, we try to distinguish what type of dizziness patient has. Is it really truly vertigo? Now, coming to the vertigo, which is a very common problem, there are different reasons why the patient may have vertigo. For example, patient in his 50s or 60s, they may complain of recurrent episodes of vertigo, lasting only for a few seconds or one or two minutes at the time. And this may happen even when they are lying down in bed or turning in the bed one side or the other, or sudden change of posture. For example, when they are lifting their head up for shaving, they may suddenly develop vertigo as well. Now, this vertigo lasts only for a few seconds as I mentioned. Sometimes when it is severe, they have nausea, they have vomiting, they may have sweating and they may occasionally fall down, but they don't lose consciousness. In between the episodes, patients are fine. This is called BPPV. This is usually common in middle-aged or older age people. This has a tendency to come and go usually and they get better. And very simple test we do in the OPD to find out this problem. Very simple maneuver we do and we sometimes teach the patient's relatives to do what they need to do at that time. Doing that itself will give a lot of relief for the patient sometimes very next day. Now, another type of common cause of vertigo is usually seen in younger people, especially young ladies. Now, this is called vestibular migraine. 
where they might have had migraine headaches before. Now they are developing recurrent episodes of true spinning sensation or vertigo, sometimes lasting for hours, sometimes lasting for one or two days. They may have nausea, but they also have light sensitivity and sound sensitivity. They want to lie down in a dark, quiet room when they have this kind of a vertigo. That is, and 50% of the time, they may not have any headache associated with this. That's why the diagnosis is very often missed. You treat their underlying migraine, all these other manifestations will improve too. Now, there is a very serious cause for vertigo. That usually happens in patients with blood pressure, diabetes, cholesterol problems, or patients who are older, where they develop very severe vertigo. When they wake up in the morning, for example, they may have severe vertigo. They may not be able to even get out of the bed. They cannot walk. They are having a severe imbalance, not just the vertigo. They have vomiting. Continuously, it is going on for one hour, two hours, etc. And they are not feeling better. Sometimes they may have facial numbness, facial weakness, and one-sided incoordination problems as well. Now, when this kind of constellation of manifestations happen with the vertigo, the one of the important things we worry in patients with blood pressure or diabetes is brain stroke. Particular area of the brain, especially in the back of the brain, the blood vessel may get blocked or it may rupture and bleed. They can have this kind of a manifestation also. So, when the patient, when you have a vertigo, if it has been going on for a few days and it comes and goes and all that, you don't have to go to the emergency room for this problem. You can go and see the neurologist who is trained in these disorders to get you the exact treatment you will get better. But when you are having the risk factors I mentioned before and the prolonged vertigo, vomiting, imbalance, cannot even walk, get out of the bed, etc. You need to go to the emergency room to see the stroke specialist immediately. So the treatment of the vertigo depends upon the cause and you have to get the appropriate treatment. In our hospital, fortunately, we have a neuroautologist who actually caters to the need of all the patients who are suffering from dizziness and vertigo and she is available six days a week to treat you. If you have any further information you need on dizziness and vertigo, you can go to our website neuroscienceindia.org. You will get all the information. Thank you.